a small percentage of women who don't look like supermodels or dress provocatively get way more engagement, emotional investment, and pursuit for men than most. This video will show you what they do differently so you can create similar results without lowering your standards or feeling needy with guys. Now, before I share the seven things that irresistible women do different than most, I'd like to shine some light into three misconceptions about what an irresistible woman is. I think that there's this monolithic view in general in society when somebody brings the subject of an irresistible woman to think of that woman as a sexy goddess, a model looking woman who has a specific type of physique just attracting guys like beasts uh, are attracted to honey. I think that that's a sub-segment of what an irresistible woman can be, but that's not what I'm talking about right now. I'm talking about a presence. I'm talking about an energy. I'm talking about the kind of grounded, open-heartedness that men find incredibly compelling that can take someone from a connection to a pursuit, to an exclusive relationship, to an engagement, to a marriage, and to a life of a guy being devoted to serving your needs as you meet his needs as well. The second misconception is that an irresistible woman is passive. And that means that she's basically sitting down in this beautiful corn copia table, being fed grapes by a guy and doing nothing. And nothing could be further from the truth. While it's true that an irresistible woman is not going to be pushing guys, pursuing them or twisting their arm or being overly available for no good reason, she's going to be active in not just the way what she brings to the table through her being, but also in putting herself in environments where she can actually connect with great guys. The third misconception of an irresistible woman is that there's a coldness about her, that this is a woman who's going to look down on guys and be cold-hearted and rejectful of men, and nothing could be further from the truth. While it's true that sub-segment of guys will be attracted to the impossible chase, healthy man would never in a million years stand for that. The healthy guy you want to connect with is someone who's going to be attracted to warmth, not coldness. So if in any way your idea of an irresistible woman is someone that you can't be, I'm here to tell you that that can change, but it requires a change in attitude, a change in behavior, and that's what I'm going to share with you right now. The first difference between an irresistible woman and most is that she is self-ignited. Think of the sun. Think of the magnetic, incredible power of this source of light that, to our way of thinking, lights up the entire world, lights up the universe, even though it's not true, but it feels like it lights up the universe. Why? Because it's not depending on another object, like the moon, for example, to shine light upon it, to be able to be brilliant. So that means that that woman is connected to her own source of happiness and joy and gratitude in such a way that even though she may enjoy validation for men, she doesn't need it to shine more powerfully. She doesn't need that level of validation. She doesn't need that allure from someone to be able to be more herself. The second difference between women who are irresistible and most is that the women who are irresistible are expressive. Now, it's really of no great use to you as it relates to attracting an amazing man into your life if you are an expressive and radiant goddess that is keeping her light to herself. So expressiveness means that you're able to shine with some safeguards that light into the world. And that light doesn't just mean your happiness and your smile and your walk. It means your thoughts and your feelings and your dreams and your hopes and your uniqueness and your philosophy and your way of doing things things that might be different from all the human beings around you. So that type of expressiveness makes sure that the light that is self-ignited can be expressed into the world and guys can notice and see you from a distance. The third difference in women who are irresistible to men and most is that women who are irresistible are unapologetically authentic. What does that mean? That means that they know who they are. They're not trying to impress anyone. They're not doing things to get attention they're not doing things to be liked by others, even though they may enjoy being liked by others, but they are showing up in a way where they, knowing who they are and what their loves and what their hates are, they're able to bring that into the world. And even though they're afraid of being rejected, like anyone else might be, their commitment to their truth is higher than their fear of rejection. Their commitment to self-expression and the willingness to not die with their music inside of them is to step up from the fear of what will they think of me. You don't need to be fearless. You just need to have one degree more courage than fear, one degree more connection to something that's more important than the fear itself to be able to show up in a way where you can be authentically you and shine 
and express what you are about with less concern of what others will think. That doesn't mean you're mean. That doesn't mean that you don't take any input. It just means that you don't need the input to start sharing yourself. The fourth difference with women who are irresistible is they are clear and confident in their own vision. That means that they know the type of relationship they want. They know what they stand for, and they're not shy about asking a guy what he wants, expressing the vision that they have. And when there's a mismatch, instead of trying to force themselves or trying to convince the guy or trying to show up so amazingly that the guy finally finds value and commitment instead of bachelorhood, that they actually are able to walk away from the situation and know that there's an abundance. And even if it's not right now, they will find that guy if they continue showing up that way. If you know what you want, if you're clear about what your vision is, and you're confident that it's a vision that you'll find fulfillment in, then being able to, from the beginning, be clear about it and not waste your time with men who are of a different kind of vision makes a gigantic difference. Now, before I share my last three points, which are incredibly valuable to understand, if you're a single woman watching this, I'd be willing to bet that you're not fully aware or not aware at all of the true blind spot that's keeping you single. So what I've done is I've taken 13 years of helping women in every walk of life, every kind of challenge you can imagine, every continent, and help them to attract guys that they've never found before, sustainable marriages and life partnerships. And I've created with that awareness and that knowledge, a quiz you can take in about 60 seconds that will reveal to you the elusive answer to the question why you're still single. If you want to participate, all you have to do is go to the first link in the description. You will see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions and within 60 seconds, you'll have two things. Answer the question why you're still single and a report is going to share based on your specific blind spot, what's the number one thing you can do starting today to attract the guy you want in a small fraction of the time. The fifth difference between women who are irresistible and most is that they have a combination of two forces that are incredibly magnetic and attractive to men. One is directness. The second one is kindness. You can be direct and mean, and that is not attractive. You can be kind and not direct, and that's going to get you into trouble because you'll have to eventually become a doormat of someone. But when you're able to be direct in terms of your wants, your vision, your needs, your likes, and do it with kindness where you're not making the guy wrong. You're saying, here's what I need to move forward. When you're saying, here's who I am. And it's okay if the guy doesn't appreciate it, if he doesn't understand it. You're not trying to force yourself into anyone, but you're able to still be direct. If you can hold those two seemingly opposing forces, which are not opposing together, being direct and being kind, that is something that guys will think of as high value because it takes someone with confidence to actually state what she's looking for. The sixth difference between women who are irresistible and most is that they are body confident. Body confident means that you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be a specific size. You just need to enjoy the connection to your body in such a way that when you show up, and I'm not talking naked here, even though that's also perhaps part of it, that there's a sense of this woman appreciates who she is. She understands her beauty. What you have, what you you bring to the table for the right guy is a miracle. It's really something phenomenal. So if you understand that and you carry yourself with that level of confidence, that is something that men find incredibly exciting. When you are carrying around yourself, even though you might be beautiful and sexy in a way that's showing fear and anxiety, it's going to be off-putting to guys and also not going to give yourself enough credit for the magnificence. And I'm talking to you specifically right now that you bring to the table if you're able to see yourself for who you really are. The last one I'll share today between women who are irresistible and most is they have clearly defined boundaries. They understand where is that red line that should not be crossed in multiple different areas of life, in communication, in dating, in physical touch, in intimacy, for having sex, for you name it. When you have those clearly defined boundaries and you're able to express them and you're able to state here is what I can do and here's what I cannot do. Guys who are of the selfish, narcissistic tendency type will hate that. And guys who are of the I'm looking for a conscious woman because I'm conscious myself will find you far more valuable than not. Hope this is helpful and useful. If it is, it would mean the world to me and to my channel because this is how it can grow and reach more women if you click like and subscribe. And if you want to continue learning how you can attract the guy you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, games, or stupid techniques, make sure to watch the next video right here.